Mr. Miley. With a drop. Hit it with speed. See the road. What is up, fam? We just finished up an epic mountain bike ride near Cortez, Colorado, and now we are gonna explore. Oh, look, influencers in the wild. Influencers in the wild. <laughs> now we are gonna head up Mesa Verde National Park. We've never been here before, but we're excited because it looks really cool. Yeah, the cliff dwellings look pretty awesome online, and I've been wanting to come here for a long, a long time, so we're gonna go check it out today. By the way, we really hope you guys enjoyed that intro and enjoyed that mountain biking because that was probably one of our favorite spots in in a while. It was epic. That was probably the best mountain biking we've ever done. And it was at Phil's World just outside of Cortez, Colorado. Yes, and Mike awesome. and Kate, our friends, they rented in Cortez. Great experience overall. We'll like link uh, the rental place below yep. and all that stuff. Okay, bye. So we are going to do the Mesa Top Loop self-guided audio driving tour. So pro tip, they have Wi-Fi here. Make yes. sure you download the, I guess it's a podcast, it's a podcast. audio tour. It says so you can download it on um, whatever your podcast, like however you get podcasts. Whatever podcast platform you like. Yeah, okay. um, and it's actually hosted by a person who is a Laguna Pueblo themselves. Oh. So you'll get a really good perspective. Yeah. Or that's what I've been told. So we'll see. Very authentic. Okay. And that's perfect for us because we're all extremely tired from mountain biking 10 miles. Yes. It is 45 minutes each way with some a few like kind of walking paths. So let's go. I am Laguna Pueblo, a direct descendant of the people who used to live here and am part of a continuous evolution of Pueblo people. This is a pit house. This is where the ancient people would live. They, they dug into the ground to use the earth's natural insulation. insulation to make a nice place to live. This is the closet. This is the house. That sounds perfectly appropriate for me. Well, a closet, but back in the day that was for like dry goods and like food and whatever they harvested and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's really like hot in the summertime and cold in the winter, so they use the natural insulation of the earth to uh, adapt, I guess. to say anything but now that you're filming me I guess I will say it it said that this uh, sorry square tower house has undergone stabilization treatments nearly every decade since the 1930s and despite all that actually 90% of what we see today is still original that's pretty neat yeah pretty cool so we've stopped at Square Tower House Overlook and this is one that you can hike to on one of the guided tours if you sign up for that down there, there is a ladder right there that you can climb down and a whole staircase as well. So all of these, um, I guess, extrusions around the edge are pilasters, and then in the very middle, that was a fire pit, and then that is a ventilation shaft in the back for the smoke, presumably. 
yeah, that's all I got. Guys, don't forget to stop off at the comfort station if you need a pit stop. Hey babe, I really like your farmer's tan. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty legit. I forgot to put sunscreen on my arms. So it might be hard to tell, but a lot of the dwellings are fully intact and then a lot of them you almost can't see at all. But luckily there's a map there that describes all of them. It's really interesting. We're talking about how they got up and down. They just had paths, which is crazy, but really cool. So the Cliff Palace is the largest and like the most complete. It has over 150 rooms and it was centrally located between kind of like the whole village. Obviously it's like kind of a big deal because it's a palace. A lot of interesting facts here. Uh, what is this? Water? Gutter? Gutter, yes. Rain gutter. Ancient gutter. Ancient rain gutter. Or is it a water uh, collecting system? Also, possibly that. According to the sign, nobody knows what the hell this is. Celestial? This is ancient aliens, guys? Yeah, this is ancient. Look at it. It looks like a crop circle. Well, according... So what, it, it, read it to us. Sun Temple is a never-ending source of speculation for scholars and visitors alike. Built sometime in the 1200s, it was part of the community of cliff dwellings that surrounded it. It's D-shaped outline, no evidence of roofing, few doors or household artifacts, and massive architecture is unlike any other structure in the park. Of the few similar D-shaped buildings found in the region, it is the only one not built with a pueblo. Could it have had societal, ritual, or even symbolic functions? Some studies suggest it had a role in celestial observations. Ancient aliens. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. <laughs> Look at the weird shape. That's crazy. Thank <laughs> you.